What up, what up? It's your boy Trey Songs, and you're watching Miss Ls.net. You know what it is, those. Alright, well, it's so good to have you here back in North Carolina. The last time you were here, you were on the BP3 tour. So, what was it like working with such an iconic individual such as Jay Z? Oh, uh, man, uh, that was very pivotal in my life uh, as a performer, you know, as a person. It was, it was very dope just to open up for him every night and then to hit the stage with him. You know, I learned a lot. and. You know, it's a great tool to be on. It's the, the highest gross in hip hop tour this year. You've performed a lot of places. Out of everything, what's been your favorite place? Ah, my favorite place. I actually did a European run last a uh, couple months ago, where I was in a different country every day. And you know, I, I just say the European energy over there was crazy. And you know, uh, just going places where people don't speak your language and they they sing your lyrics is amazing. So what was the European show like versus performing here in the United States? Uh, the shows aren't, aren't much different as far as the preparation or the stage setting or the venues. It's more so that the people, mm -hmm. you know, the crowd, the fact that they live a different lifestyle, that they they're a whole different culture, like a different language, actually singing my music. Like the people who speak French are singing my, my lyrics word for word. That's definitely something that, uh, you know, stays with you forever. Now, being in the industry, there's a lot of scandals and everything going on. Being a sex symbol such as yourself, how are you able to keep that clean image? Uh, man, I'm, I'm just me, buddy. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I, I stay away from trouble as, as often as possible, you know, and, and people people nowadays are very much in, into other people's lives. And, you know, as, a, as an entertainer, I try to keep my entertainment the forefront of Trey Songz versus my personal life. <laughs> Now your female fans, they really want to know when it comes to a woman that you want to be involved with romantically, what are some of the qualities that you look for that are really important to you? Well, you know, it's, it's very easy to, to find a beautiful woman physically, you know, it's, it's beautiful women all over the world. But as far as, you know, uh, personality traits, you know, I, I love an intelligent woman. You know, a woman that's caring, a woman that could be funny, a woman that doesn't take herself too seriously. You know, a woman that's willing to have fun and, and uh, you know, it has goals and determined. You have very, very loyal fans. Like, your Twitter followers are crazy. I'm sure you get, like, 20 tweets per second or something like that. <laughs> but um, what are some of the craziest things that a fan has done to try and get your attention or get in touch with you? On Twitter? No, just in general. Oh, just very... Well, uh, the craziest thing as of late, a fan actually uh, hopped across the balcony at a show and, and like oh uh, tight rope the lights or something like that. So that was that was pretty crazy. <laughs> okay, now what we really really want to talk about is your fourth studio album coming out September 14th. Can you what can you tell us about that? Like what transitioning from your first album to now? How do you feel you um, you know just progress as an artist as an individual? Uh, well, Passion, Pain, and Pleasure is the name of the album, and you know, gotta make it being my first album. You know, it was an introduction piece. You know, I felt as though, you know, I, I was very much a young artist striving to be into the game and fighting for my position in this game. And you know, on, up to my last album, where you know I, I've claimed my position and you know I've been accepted in this game. And uh, I think this is the album where I, I, I steadily carve out my lane and you know make it known that I'm here to stay. So the Trey fans that have been with you since day one, what are some of the things that they're going to notice differently from this album? Like, they're going to listen to it and be like, wow, this is like a new Trey. Uh, well, I wouldn't say it's all the way a new Trey. You know, I think it's uh, a combination of, of different things that they've already seen from anticipation to ready to gotta make it. You know, I kind of brought those three projects together. and. Uh, you know, uh, the, the, the interludes are something I, I love a lot on this album, and you just hear a lot of, a lot of uh, the musicality which lives in, within me that I haven't been able to show in a lot of cases from the, the, the I think this album has a sound of its own, I'll say that. Now, in terms of the process of putting this um, project together, what were some of the things that went into the creative process? Uh, well, it actually was a very quick process because I had to make the album so fast. So it was no different than making any other album. It was getting in the studio with the same guys, uh, primarily my man Troy Taylor, uh, Chante Austin, Chef Tone, Edric Miles, uh, Mario Winans is on this project, Eric Hudson. 
a lot of great guys and just locking down and making the best album we could. What's an average studio session like for you? Uh, I don't know if any studio session with me is average. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, depending on what I'm doing, you know, I might be doing a, a hook for one artist, or I might be doing a mixtape song, or I might be, uh, you know, recording something for the album. You know, and I, I don't have much time to get into the studio, so when I do, it's always uh, I'm trying to get in and out as fast as possible. So what is it like for you being on tour now with the, just, you know, so much going on, you got the album, you're gearing up for that, and you're just on the road, you don't really have as much downtime as probably my life, so. I mean, that's my life. I'm, I'm used to that at this point. I, I, I'm, I'm not giving downtime a lot. Ever. Where would you say like you're looking forward to visiting most? Ah uh, man, I'm, I'm looking forward to going everywhere. You know, on this mm -hmm. tour, we've actually visited a lot of small markets that, you know, artists have, have attained a level of success that I have. Don't really go to markets like Shreveport, Mobile, uh, Milwaukee, and, and just a lot of the smaller markets that don't really get to see big artists, you know, so I want to make sure that even at this level of success that I've attained that my fans know that they can still reach out and touch me and go to, back to the places and the towns that made me who I am. What is it like now when you go back to visit home? Uh, man, it's, it's been crazy when I go back home for the last couple of years, but it's always love. It's, it's, it's love everywhere I go. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about your series on BET. What was it like having your own show? Uh, it was amazing to have my own show, you know, and, and what was more important is that, you know, I was giving my my input, you know, on the show. And, you know, I was giving more insight to my life. And it wasn't just, you know, a drama-filled television show mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, most reality shows seem to be based around. Yeah, what I really liked about it was that it also showed a lot of the business aspect of the music, so that was good. So when you first signed that contract, like, what were some of the things going through your head? The contract for the TV show? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yeah. man. You know, I was, I was more, more excited about what it was going to be like and more excited about the creative uh, direction I wanted to take it in. What do you think you got out of that experience? Uh, I got people... Uh, I gave people more of an understanding of the, of the individual I am, of the artist I am, or the person I am. Uh, and, and I think uh, people, like I said, got more insight to my world. And uh, what I got out of that experience is, you know, the, the, the knowledge of the television world, the knowledge of, uh, you know, being an executive producer. Now, you have some great love songs, so we want to know, has Trey songs ever felt heartbroken? Yeah, I've definitely had my heartbroken. And what was that like for you? I'm probably the same as it is for anybody else. <laughs> it's a terrible feeling. Thank you so much for keeping me here on MissLs.net. But before we go, we want to know, um, would you be able to give us a little preview of something that we haven't heard yet from the album? Nope. Passion Pack Play 914. <laughs> you go get it. Gotta go to the show, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Definitely. Thank you so much. All right, baby.